I'm not kidding, prepare to have your mind blown. <laughs> I have an even new and more different video than I've ever had before. So I just finished recording one of my Bolo Brands research videos. So if you haven't seen any of those, I dive in to solds and see if they're flukes or if they're true Bolo Brands. And I kind of give some commentary as a great way to research new brands to be looking out for to sell on Poshmark. And as I was doing that, I'm thinking to myself, I'm seeing some things on the screen about searches, and it reminded me that I forgot that you could see certain searches that people make on Poshmark. And I used to look at it all the time when I was a newer seller to know, are these phrases that people are using to search for things, are they good keywords to use in my listings? And then I forgot about it for a while. And as sellers, we get so into the fashion terminology, and I talk about keywords all the time and how important they are to come up in searches on Poshmark, and it is. It helps you make more sales to have more keywords in your listings, 150%. But the keywords that people are searching for and the keywords that we are putting in our listings aren't always a match because the buyer may not have the fashion terminology that we have. And so I'm gonna show you some examples of some pretty crazy stuff, but also even from the crazy stuff where you're like, oh my God, what is that person even doing? You can get some really great insight that could help you identify good keywords to put in your listings. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. We're gonna dive into my screen hair, screen share. <laughs> And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So these are the brands that I had just done in this other video and I didn't feel like looking at anything else. What we need is right here. So if you click into any listing on Poshmark and you scroll down, I don't think that this works on the mobile phone. I think you have to be on the website on a computer. It says people also searched. Now I didn't actually do a search here, this was me clicking into brands for my Bolo research video, and I do that by sorting, so I didn't actually type in a keyword search, but here are some things that people also searched, says Poshmark. Baldwin denim jeans, black western jeans, jeans Volcom, legs jeans, what does that mean? Waist size 26 jeans. 29W32I for inseam jeans, gray legging jeans, Harley Davidson biker blues jeans, Levi button flap jeans, Levi's 514 jeans gray. This is some really good information. Now these aren't all the shockers. There's lots more. I think the shocker of this particular group is legs jeans. Like what does that mean? Is that a brand? I hope so, I really hope so. Otherwise I have no idea. But look at how people are searching. Some are putting the brand, they're all putting jeans, some are putting the color, some are putting the size, some are putting brand first, some are putting brand second, some are putting a style black western jeans. So if you have black jeans, are they western style? If they are, you should use that as a keyword. If you didn't think about them as western, maybe see if they could be western. We don't wanna do keyword stuffing. That's not what we wanna do. We only wanna put keywords that apply to our listings, but this is just a gold mine of one, funny stuff, and two, really interesting ways that people are actually searching for things. Now these are all jeans again, because I was working on that other video, so all these searches that they're gonna show here are gonna be related to jeans. But you can click in any kind of listing and see what's there. So what is tapered jeans? Now these kinds, I saw a few of these. What is Tommy jeans? People are searching questions. And so what I didn't know is, is Poshmark pulling this from Poshmark's searches? Or is Poshmark pulling this from Google searches? Because someone could go onto Google and be like, what is tapered jeans? Why would someone go onto Poshmark and write, what is tapered jeans? That doesn't make any sense to me. But regardless, I guess it doesn't matter, somebody's looking for tapered jeans. Is that a keyword that you use? 100 cotton jeans, no spandex, so somebody's looking for super rigid, you know, kind of things, they don't want any stretch to them. But that's interesting because there's, instead of saying no stretch, or instead of saying 100% cotton or rigid, they're saying 100 cotton, no spandex. Maybe that's something you would put. 
I don't know. I mean, again, we don't want to necessarily dumb down what we do for the wacko that puts one random thing. We don't know how many people are searching in this manner, but it does give us an insight into the buyer and their limited knowledge. They know what they want, but they don't know what it's called. And think about when you first became a reseller. You didn't know what any of this crap was called. And all of a sudden, we had to learn how to call these things stuff so that we could get found in search. But what if we could make even more sales by also adding words that are common that are not necessarily the fashion keyword? So jeans fabric price, that's weird. What is Tommy Jeans? Cool jeans brands, jeans with polo, fashion boyfriend jeans, nudie jeans, stretch, printed denim jeans, that's interesting, black jeans, Walmart. The other one that I thought was interesting was the fashion boyfriend jeans because they're not, they're saying fashion, which means to me, like in jewelry, like fashion jewelry, it's not a brand, it's just kind of like costume jewelry, it's just kind of like a cheapo, like a boutique type of thing. So I thought that was an interesting type of keyword there. Let's go ahead here to this one. Jean overalls forever 21, Pepe jeans boot cut, perfect jeans length. I don't wear jeans anymore. I don't know if that's a thing. Bell bottom jeans, free people. So again, if you're saying, are you saying bell bottom? Are you saying wide leg? Stuff like that. Is bullhead jeans now pack sun? Indigo rain embroidered jeans. Is it bad to run with jeans? Is Levi jeans made in the USA? Oh Lord. Light wash jeans ripped or not ripped? I love that. So like, I'm just going to be very specific. I'm looking for light wash jeans that are ripped or not ripped. Thanks so much, Jeannie and the bottle of Poshmark. Like, that's funny. But ripped, do you put ripped or do you put distressed? But then also not ripped. <laughs> would you put, if you had just a regular pair of jeans that didn't have any distressing, would you write not ripped in your description? I, again, I'm not making fun of anyone for not knowing I think it's interesting what people are searching for and how can we capitalize on this as sellers. And again, we can't go crazy and write every possible combination, but if you went through this, let's say for 30 minutes on all jeans, like just you really focused in on the jeans, you might come away with four or five good keywords that you never thought of that you saw come up a couple of times that you're not using that could be a gold mine that could help you sell stale inventory if you added them in, or you could get sell through faster because you add them from the get go and they sell immediately because that's what a bunch of people are searching for. You just don't know. This is fascinating to me. Jeans purple, jeans Denver, Guinea nudie jeans. So nudie must be a brand because I've not heard of that, but people keep saying that. So that's something. I, that's already two right there that said nudie jeans that we need to look at. We need to look into that. Movie blue jeans. Citizens of Humanity jeans, Jerome Dahan, casual dinner jeans, casual dinner jeans, yes. So you list your jeans, but I've talked about in my sales phrases video, you can paint the picture to the buyer and tell them where they can wear it and how they can wear it and what they can wear it with. And some people want to be sold to. They want that picture painted for them. They want to be enticed. They want someone to tell them it's okay to buy this item. And so you can say, going to a casual dinner, these jeans would be perfectly paired with your blah, 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 blah. Like, yes. Gloria Vanderbilt gray tapered jeans. There goes tapered again. If you're not saying tapered, tapered is a keyword. Hello. Hollister pink short jeans. So short jeans versus jean shorts versus denim shorts something. How hard to hem jeans? How to fit Levi's 501 jeans? So again, the, some of these questions are a little funny. Best jeans quality. Okay. Rock Revival Kai jeans. Designer distressed jeans. Great. So they don't care what brand it is. They want distressed jeans that are designer label. Are you putting designer in your designer jeans. If you have a pair of Dolce & Gabbana jeans, this person didn't search for Dolce & Gabbana. They're searching designer. You should have the word designer on there. Yes, I mean, that's stuff I forget about all the time, though I'm not like necessarily listing all the Dolce & Gabbana jeans. Embroidered hem jeans, interesting. Urban renewal jeans. This also might give you clues for sourcing. Like if you saw the same 
type of search come up. Like I'm just thinking about the embroidered hem jeans. Like let's say you saw three or four searches that kind of alluded to that type of thing. You might want to source more jeans that have an embroidered hem because clearly people are searching for them. Doesn't mean you're gonna sell them, but it's a clue and it might be a way to go. And it's something to put into practice as an experiment. Urban renewal jeans, repair hole in jeans, like I don't know, uh, jeans Costco, on sale jeans. So if your jeans are on sale, maybe you wanna write that they're on sale. Levi's jeans vintage, size converter for jeans. Okay, let's see what else we got. O'Neal jeans, full blue jeans, jeans booty. Okay, what are we saying about the booty situation in the jeans? Maybe people wanna know about that. Old Navy jeans for teens, that's interesting. The pleated jeans, casual dressing with jeans. Again, casual has come up. Jeans warehouse sale, light true religion jeans. I think the idea of the wash is important. I think sometimes I forget that. Light wash, medium wash, dark wash. If the tag says a type of wash, like it'll say indigo or something, that needs to be said because people are searching light. They're not necessarily wa searching wash, but they're saying light, true religion jeans. Color came up a few times already, so that's interesting. Jeans suppliers, gap floral jeans, okay. Black Versace jeans, skinny overall jeans, are high-waisted jeans in style? Don't we all wanna know? Khaki stretch jeans, don't forget about the stretch. DKNY white jeans, DKNY patch jeans, girls and Wrangler jeans, I wonder who's searching that one. Abercrombie embellished jeans, embellished, that could mean several different things. Skinny jeans for plus size juniors. That's a very specific search, wow, okay. Skinny jeans for plus size juniors. Next day delivery jeans, interesting. You offer next day delivery, you got it. I guess that wouldn't work though because we're not next day delivery. You might ship the next day, but it's not next day delivery. Martin Osa jeans, slenderizing jeans. Now that is an interesting keyword because I've put things like flattering and slimming. Slenderizing, that is a good word. Yes, 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 yes. Sexy distressed jeans. Sexy is not something I usually put in a jeans listing, but that is good. Gloria jeans, timings, double jeans, I don't know what that is, boys Abercrombie jeans, skinny jeans, big legs, interesting. Maddie black jeans, will new jeans, stretch, Wranglers jeans, traded on. So again, these are all jeans because I had just done a jeans bolo video. If you're not into jeans, you can do this with something else, but you never know what these keywords might apply for. But imagine if we did this, maybe I'll do this. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do this video, but for other types of searches, I will do it and we can see what we find out together. This could be a brand new video format. So let me know in the comments below, say more crazy keywords videos, <laughs> and I will do them. Tell me more crazy keywords videos in the comments. Jeans for curvy petite, okay. Jeans celebrity pink. Now like jeans for curvy petite. So if you have plus size jeans that are petite, you could add the word curvy. Not everything that somebody searches for is new information, right? We might already be doing these things. So like jeans is already gonna be in our listing. Petite, if it's size petite, we should already have that in there as a size or Poshmark's already gonna find it based on the size. But do you have curvy if it is plus size? That's information, that's a good keyword. Jeans with white stitching and rhinestones, very specific. White stitching, if there's a certain kind of stitching, are you writing that? Fashionable outfits with jeans, MIH jeans, Paris crop, DIY painted jeans, petite low rise jeans, H&M boot cut jeans, rag and bone crop flare jeans, 32 jean size. So again, many of those are things that we probably are already putting, but some of them are very interesting. Jeans bath, what the heck is that? Jeans size 31 conversion, jeans wilder, girls size 12 jeans, American apparel jeans high waist, jeans shiny, okay, shiny jeans, push up booty jeans. Yes, that is a good one. I don't think I've ever sold push up booty jeans, but someone's looking for that. Are you sourcing that? 
If you have one, did you write push-up booty jeans? Or did you write it in a different kind of way that is not coming up for that search? Because I bet you that's not the only person looking for that search. Spring jeans outfits, okay. Seven jeans a pocket, interesting. I just want your jeans. I don't know, is that a brand? 100% cotton jeans. So again, this person wrote out the word percent. The other person just wrote 100 cotton. So if you have a pair of 100% cotton jeans, are you distinguishing that? I would be putting rigid, no stretch, 100% cotton. That's important. Vintage baggy jeans. Are you writing baggy or are you writing loose fit? Are you writing boyfriend? How to wear boyfriend jeans. Buckle up jeans. I don't know what that is. How to wear light jeans. Smith's dungarees jeans. How to professionally hem jeans. Night jeans. Comic book jeans. Beige boot cut jeans. Back zip jeans. Interesting. Black jeans. Ripped knees. Again, with the distressing, the whiskering destroyed, I think that was the other word, dope jeans, Miss C jeans, ladies jeans, size 20, ladies, not women's, interesting, light wash, holy jeans, jeans with holes, people, distressed, whiskering, destroyed, holy jeans. Are you writing holy in your jeans? If you're not, you may want to. Hourglass shape jeans print on jeans, 32 inch length jeans, ladies jeans fashion. Wow. Furry jeans, or actually that doesn't say furry jeans, it says fury jeans. Maybe that's a brand. Camo jeans outfit, jeans button making machine. I never want to say the word jeans again after this video. <laughs> like for days, I don't want to say the word jeans. New look ripped jeans. Okay, new look is a brand. Nicest jeans. Jeans as seen on TV, <laughs> what is that? 30 waist jeans, boyfriend jeans, sale, hot topic, lovesick jeans size. Is one leg length on jeans a lot? I don't know what that means. I don't know how to answer that question. Guys, what do you think about this keyword research? Do you think this was helpful? I definitely think that there were several things. I should have like made some notes. I think the 100% cotton thing is really interesting. I think the push-up booty thing is interesting. The Western thing. But there was something that came up two or three times. Oh, the tapered. Tapered. Yes, that's key. So guys, I think we got some really good value out of this video. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. If you want me to do more, again, tell me crazy keywords videos, more crazy keywords videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.